Around the world, there are people wondering if they will have enough to eat today. And there are patients whose health depends on life-saving medications, including temperature-sensitive vaccines that are helping to counter the threat of a global pandemic. Yet every year, millions of tons of food go to waste due to spoilage, and billions of dollars of pharmaceutical products are lost due to storage or transport failures. These products, essential for life, require uninterrupted temperature control from the source to the consumer. But today's cold chain is fragmented with many different providers and technologies across the chain. This prevents visibility into the location, condition, and handling of goods, increasing the risk of temperature excursions, delivery delays, or cargo theft. At Carrier, we're addressing this crucial supply chain problem. With Lynx, Carrier's cloud-enabled digital platform. Lynx transforms your cold chain into a connected ecosystem, providing end-to-end -end intelligence and visibility. Using advanced analytics and machine learning in the Amazon Web Services Cloud, Lynx converts cold chain data into actionable insights. For example, Lynx can analyze ship location and weather data to predict potential delays while in transit. This insight can inform critical decisions on cargo rerouting, safety stock replacement, and overland transport connections. Over the road, Lynx can analyze real-time temperature monitoring data together with traffic, weather, and route security data to spot potential problems early. Updated ETA and route risk predictions inform logistics decisions to help ensure a safe, on-time arrival. For products and storage, Lynx provides real-time visibility and control of location and temperature, including continuous monitoring of refrigeration equipment health to ensure product integrity. This is especially vital for storage during cargo handoff points when products may be at higher risk. Lynx provides the end-to-end -end visibility and predictive insights needed to improve cold chain performance, efficiency, and agility, so you can mitigate risk today while setting the stage for the intelligent cold chain of tomorrow, where health and maintenance data on cold chain equipment is instantly accessible, where consumers can see product freshness information for themselves, where physicians use item level tracking data to confirm the integrity of every medication dose. Lynx enables a healthy, safe, sustainable, and intelligent cold chain, and that helps build a better world for us all. Discover how Lynx can transform your global cold chain and deliver confidence for your customers. Hello everyone, and welcome to our webinar focus on the connected cold chain. For those of you I haven't yet had the pleasure to work with, my name is Heather Robbins, and I'm part of the communications team for Carrier's global refrigeration business. Today, we will explore the innovative digital services Carrier offers, providing greater visibility and control at all stages of the cold chain. And first, we will hear from Carrier's Senior Vice President and Chief Digital Officer, Bobby George. Thank you for having me. I'm here to speak briefly about overall Carrier digital strategy. Our strategy is centered around a few things. One is making our products smarter by introducing capabilities into our products by driving incremental value for our customers and the investments that they've made in carrier products, adding new capabilities to their products on a continual basis, and introducing new solutions that can connect, connect the dots between their investments in carrier products and, and how they utilize our products in general. Over the course of the last year and a half, we've launched major platforms. For example, in our healthy buildings, healthy, safe, and sustainable building space, we launched a platform called Abound. And Abound is an intelligent solution that sits on top of building management systems and create a building health profile and capability inside buildings, all the way from identification, visualization, and mitigation in buildings. Similarly, in the connected cold chain space, we launched a platform called Lynx. And when you think about Carrier and its partnership, uh, in each one of the spaces that we play in, we are a leader in transport refrigerations, we are a leader in commercial refrigerations, and in cargo monitoring. So think of it as nodes of the cold chain, and what the Lynx platform does is it seamlessly connects the nodes of the cold chain to create an outcome for our customers that provide end-to-end -end visibility. 
So we are excited about the opportunity to partner in, in driving down global food waste and be able to participate in vaccine innovation and vaccine transport, and then get into higher order use cases in which we can guarantee transport in a secure, safe manner, cargo that is precious from place to place, all the way from the source to the destination. We are excited to work on these innovative solutions with our customers as our partners. We believe together we can unlock tremendous value through our solutions. We have assembled an impressive list of partners to co-innovate with as we continue this journey, and we look forward to continuing this dialogue. Thank you for having me today. Next, we will hear from Alice DeBiasio, Vice President and General Manager of Digital Solutions for Carrier Refrigeration. Alice, over to you. Thanks, Heather. I'm excited to be here to talk to you all about cold chain solutions. We rely on the cold chain every day in our daily lives, whether it's the food that we purchase, prepare, and feed ourselves and our family and friends, or medicine that we use for some of the most basic health needs or to the more complex chronic illnesses or life-threatening illnesses that we may face. We also use the cold chain in industries and applications we may not always be familiar with, whether it's sending that bouquet of flowers on a celebratory event, or when we pick up our cell phones or laptops and the consumer electronics devices that go in each of those. All of those are protected. But in many of our communities today, we face significant challenges all across the globe. One in nine people go to sleep hungry every night, not knowing where their next meal will come from. Two billion people do not have access to basic medicines. And yet at the same time, we see 475 million tons of food wasted due to improper refrigeration. And even more staggering is over $35 billion of cost impacts our pharmaceutical industries every year due to logistics challenges. These trends will only increase over the coming years. Population is expected to grow nearly 25% over the next decade. And with that population growth, we're going to see a growth in urbanization, which means that food and these critical products are going to have to be transported over longer distances. And thirdly, food waste contributes the largest amount to greenhouse gas emissions. This is what drives Carrier every day. You cannot go a day without turning on the television or reading a newspaper, seeing on social media or your electronic device something that talks about supply chain challenges that are impacting companies worldwide. It's costing industries hundreds of millions of dollars. And you see delays of even just more of the basic goods that we try and procure in our daily lives. But what's most important is solving those supply chain challenges that impact school lunch programs that feed millions of children all across the globe, or families or friends who are battling and managing chronic illnesses and rely on certain drugs to manage those conditions. That's what drives us here at Carrier and what we're going to be focused on. While there has been significant advancements in cold chain technology over the last few decades, there still are significant breaks. At each handoff point, from source all the way to table or retailer, we see multiple handoffs and different stakeholders that touch this. In order to ensure product integrity through the entire chain, we need to solve these critical issues. Here at Carrier, we stay attuned to our customers' needs. We understand that 30 to 50% of their operating costs go to transport logistics and product loss. We also understand there is a critical need for traceability and condition-based monitoring of the products and goods that transport through the supply chain. Also, the need for visibility. In this age of connectivity, being able to know where your product is and when it is expected to arrive is critical to make key business decisions. We also understand that there is a myriad of different data coming in from many different devices. Being able to collect and diagnose and drive actionable insights is critical to make those key business decisions. With multiple stakeholders throughout the supply chain, it is critical to drive interoperability and data sharing. 
This will provide more seamless digital experiences for you to manage your business. Now I'd like to introduce you to Lynx, a platform that provides insights around your logistics performance, fleet optimization, diagnostics, and can drive operational efficiencies across your business. Lynx is comprised of a suite of digital offerings tailored to specific customers and their needs. We have fleet and telematic solutions for transport refrigeration equipment owners, cargo solutions for cargo owners and associated shippers. We also have solutions for cold systems. These are stationary refrigeration equipment owners. And lastly is pulling all of these together to provide proactive end-to-end -end risk management across all applications. But let us not forget, we will also make all of this information available through an API. Why? Because I had mentioned before, interoperability is going to be critical to enable success around the cold chain. The Lynx platform aims to solve critical challenges that we see within the cold chain today. Product quality and integrity throughout its entire journey. Secondly, operational efficiencies and savings, and reducing spoilage and waste that takes place along the way. Third is visibility, where we can drive close and collaborative management across not only your operations, but those of your key partners. And lastly, sustainability benefits, as we all want to ensure a more prosperous future for generations to come. Now let's dive a little deeper. The first leg of any product's journey, we refer to as inbound essentially from source to the distribution center. At Carrier, we have a plethora of IoT real-time devices that we can outfit in any application. You pair the location and condition-based information we receive off those devices with key information we get from telematic solutions on our equipment. This provides the ability to provide real benefits around automated shipment acceptance and also improving your logistics management within your operations. Now let's move to the second leg of the journey, inside the distribution center. Far too often, temperature excursions take place during critical handoffs within the cold chain. We offer solutions that ensure the product is stored at the appropriate temperature, that can maximize its shelf life and ensure its efficacy by the time it arrives at its proper destination. Not only here at Carrier we focused on the product, we also provide condition-based maintenance, which is focused on key benefits around reducing equipment downtime, driving operational efficiencies, and lower energy consumption across the equipment that's in use. The third leg in a product's journey is what we refer to as the outbound. It takes a product from the distribution center to the store. The last mile is often the most important in a product's journey. At Carrier, we have fleet and telematic solutions focused on providing real-time visibility, uptime around your equipment, and lastly, we provide key alerts around potential temperature excursions, as in this setting, it is often in urban environments where there is impacts due to traffic or weather that can impact a product's integrity. The last leg of any product's journey resides at the store. With Carrier's advanced monitoring and service solutions, we ensure equipment uptime and cold chain compliance through its final journey. Key benefits that our solution provides. For large format stores, we have condition-based maintenance capabilities, which reduces downtime, drives operational efficiencies, and overall saves in energy costs. For smaller footprint stores, we have stationary temperature monitoring capabilities, which focus around visibility around your equipment, advanced alerts, and digital record keeping. Now let's take a look at a real customer application using the Lynx platform. A international fresh meat supplier leveraged our IoT real-time monitors and outfitted their cold chain operations. This was across 19 distribution centers and over 220 trucks. What was collected during this example, as you can see in the middle part, is noticeable temperature excursions taking place throughout a product's journey. Once we collected this information, we were able to make corrective actions. And as you can notice with key results, over 60% improvement in their compliance across all shipments. Also, reduced rejections of key shipments by over 20%. And lastly, optimized truck configurations for deliveries to minimize door openings, which oftentimes leads to temperature excursions.
Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the interworkings of our Lynx platform. We have made a strategic partnership with Amazon Web Services. What they have enabled is the ability for us to take raw data from our equipment and also external sources, pair that up, enrich that context to drive actionable insights where we can provide information around updated estimated time of arrival, impacts due to weather, replenishment, inventory management, and even potentially rerouting of those trips. Now I'd like to introduce you to Alan Peart, who will walk you through a Lynx Fleet demonstration. So here we are now logged into the Lynx Fleet solution, and we come straight into the dashboard where most of our customers manage their business. Now I'm not gonna walk through each feature and functionality. The solution's been built around helping customers solve business processes. So we're gonna run through a few business processes to show you how easy the solution is to use to help solve that come up on a day-to-day -day basis for our customers. Now, the other premise that the solution has been built on is the concept of exception management. Shipping lines have tens of thousands of reefers, which means there's so much data available with those reefers that if we were to present all of that data, it would just be unmanageable. So what we're doing here is that we're only managing the issues the customers would like to see. So they can configure in to be able to identify the most important issues, and then using the tools available, they can help solve those. All of that data is available if the customer wants to see that, because they might want to build some configurable reports to be able to look trends and analysis over time. But it's really about focusing on those important issues that this solution really comes into its own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through three use cases. The first use cases is how do I solve specific issues with my reefers? And how do I use the dashboard to be able to do that? The second use case is how do I identify reefers that might need a pre-trip inspection, a PTI? And how do I identify those that I don't need to do that as well? And then the third one using our new reefer health module is how do I identify the health of the reefer? And is there a problem now? Is there a problem going to be in the future? And how do I manage that? But then how do I also use that to help my operational efficiency? So how do I identify healthy reefers so that I know that I can put high value goods in them and I know that they're going to be safe because that reefer is reliable? So let's get into the first use case. So as we know, things go wrong or things change with reefers over time as they're being used. And I want to be identified of those issues and I want to be able to manage them in a very, very easy way. And the way I'm going to do that today is using one of our widgets that we have available here, which is the alarms widget. The alarms widget is telling me that there are some issues across a number of reefers. And it's then breaking that down into the ones that I really need to pay attention to now and the ones that I can leave till later. The benefit of that is the ones that I can leave to later, I can then manage those reefers and get them to locations where fixing them might be cheaper or easier to access. But I've really got to fix that issue that's causing a problem now. And that could be a problem that causes spoiled goods. So here I can identify that I've got a critical alarm with a reefer and I need to fix that as quickly as possible. I'm leaving aside the other issues for a later time. And all I need to do here is I can click into that alarm. I get presented with what, where's the reefer and so I find out where the reefer is, but I also get the alarm and I get a description. But really that's not enough. I want more information to tell me what is the actual problem and do I need any components to be able to fix that? All of that information really helps me speed up any resolution and helps me improve what we call our first time fix rate. So let's see how we can do that. I can identify this by troubleshooting. And the reason that we can do that at Carrier is that we have so much knowledge about our reefers and we have a lot of in-depth information that is presented in Link Fleet. So here, the information is telling me where the problem is and what I need to do to be able to resolve that. If there's any components that's required, it presents that information here. Now this information is very useful in the back office but it's even more useful to the service technician who has to visit the reefer. Without this information, the service technician has to visit the reefer. They have to analyze or try and find where the problem is. 
From there, they work out whether they need components, then they have to go back to the warehouse. If the components are there, that's great. But if they're not, I then have to order them. If I'd known about it beforehand, I could then order that. And then once they've got the components, they go back to the reefer. That's two visits. That means that you're slowing down the turnaround time. You're also increasing the cost to be able to fix that particular reefer. Having this information at hand means I can make one visit, improving my first time fix rate. That's exceptionally important to reduce cost and speed up time and helping all of the other logistics problems as we've mentioned in the, in the cold chain. So as you've seen, it's extremely easy to solve alarm issues in the field at the touch of a button with Lynx Fleet. And as you can also see, that's very easy to put into a business process and measure it as well. The second use case I want to talk about today is all around pre-trip inspections, PTIs. I really want to know as a shipping line whether I need to do a pre-trip inspection or not. And if I do, do I need to do a full PTI or can I just focus on particular areas? Without this technology here, the only way you can do that is having a service tech visit the actual reefer. But now we can do everything remotely. And one of the widgets that's going to help me do that is the Tripwise widget. So Tripwise is a piece of functionality that's associated with the carrier reefers that does self-diagnostics of the reefer on the PTI aspects continuously, whether the reefer is loaded or unloaded. It then provides feedback to me in the back office whether there are areas on the reefers that need to be checked, but it's also telling me which reefers have passed all the checks. So I know I can get that turnaround time, get the cargo in there again, and get them back in, in service. So I can push those to the one side and focus on where the issues are. So if we look at this particular uh, widget, it's telling me I've six reefers that have passed. I don't need to worry about that. My focus on them is to tell the operational team is that they were in good use, and you can fill them with cargo and let's get them back into service. I've got nine reefers here that need a check. Because again, of our in-depth knowledge on our carrier reefers, we know exactly where to look and we get a full description of um, where to identify which checks need to be performed again. So I've selected the nine, they're presented to me here, but I wanna get that in-depth description that's only available to carrier. So I can select the reefer, and then I can have a look at the tripwise status check. This is giving me that detailed description of each individual item on the PTI, and it's telling me which ones have passed, which ones need to be rechecked, and if some have expired because they haven't been able to be checked, I can see those as well. So it's very easy for me to hear, to make a, an informed decision around, do I need to do a full PTI, or can I just check individual items? If I only had one item here, it would be very easy for to, to do that individual item, but it looks like here that I probably should run a full check. Well, I can do all of that here as well. I still don't need to send a technician to that reefer. So I can close this window. I can then access my commands, and then it's very easy for me to select which PTI I'd like to do, a full one, a partial one, or just pick individual items. If after running this in the back office, it comes back everything clear, I know I can get that reefer back to being loaded and back to being back in use. If it comes back with check again, at that point, now I can make a decision to say, right, now we need to send a service technician, but we've got that detailed description of what they need to look for and how they need to solve that as well. So there's a lot of information that's presented to me, but it's an easy to digest format and it's very quick at my fingertips to be able to do that. And now we're gonna jump into the third use case where we're looking at the in-depth uh, analytics that's available via the Lynx Fleet solution. So this is our brand new module, which is Reefer Health. And before I get into some of the detail here on how we can solve your business processes, I'll just give you an overview of what we're trying to do at Carrier with regard to telematic solutions. Your typical telematic solution shows you real-time information, information that's happening now, and it also has a, a, uh, a set of historical information, and you can use both of those to make informed decisions. A carrier, we're changing that. What we're doing here, and be, again, because of the in-depth knowledge we have on our reefers, we're able to take data from the reefers, 
and using machine learning and our algorithms, we're able to make forward-looking predictions over 24 hours and 72 hours on the health of that reefer. This means that as a business, you can now move from a reactive company into a proactive company. Being proactive means that you can organize your reefers better. If it does need service or something needs looking at, you could be proactive to get it to a location that might be cheaper to service or easier to access. All of these things will help your business in terms of the logistics cold chain. So what we're looking at here is a presentation of all of my reefers. And as you can imagine, I want to be able to present that in different formats for different people across the business who can use it in different ways. So the first one I'm going to look at is I'm the container manager across the business. The most important thing I want to be able to see is that I've got a healthy set of reefers and they're available to, to use. If they're not, I want to identify which ones are not in good shape so I can get them serviced. But I also want to know where they are as well because then maybe I can focus on certain areas where I've got hotspots of reefers that uh, have issues. So here, I can look at my health trend over daily, weekly, and monthly periods. I can click on the weekly and the monthly, and I'm getting visibility. Uh, and in this case, I've got a very healthy set of reefers, so I've got no problems. But I can also break them by breaking it down into monthly, et cetera. You can then look at seasonal variances. So I can have all of that information at my fingertips. But then on the operational level, I want to be able to then dive into individual reefers and find out which ones have a problem, where are they, and get them resolved as quickly as possible. And then I can start and do that not just for now, but over the next 24 and 72 hours. So here, currently, I've got a very healthy set of reefers. But as you see, over the next 24 hours and then subsequent 72 hours, there are some issues that are appearing on some of those reefers. So I want to be able to find out where are those reefers, what is that actual problem, in the same way as we presented in the alarms, so I can get those resolved and be proactive about that. So here, now I can see textually which of my reefers has particular problems, and then it's easy for me to look at that on a map view so I can see where they are as well. And as I look at these, I could look at now and over the next 72 hours, I can then identify hotspots where I might need to focus my service technician. If you're having to send a service technician to fix one reefer today, if you can look ahead three days and see that potentially there are going to be five reefers at that location, if you can fix them all today, that means you're not constantly sending service technicians out there. That's much more efficient to work as a business. And as I said, now you're moving into a proactive way of working as against a reactive way of working. So how do I see which reefers have got problems? So here I've got an individual reefer that's looking over the next few days where the reefer health score is deteriorating. I want to find out why that is and how I might be able to fix it. So it's very, very easy for me to select that reefer. And then I can see what's happening to that reefer over time. So at the moment, as we can see that there's no action, we can see that the health of the reefer is not the best, but it's still in the green, which means I do nothing. The amber is an indication that whilst I don't need to do anything, I need to be mindful that the health of the reefer is deteriorating. And if it continues to do that, it can uh, operate more inefficiently, which causes more power consumption, again, which is more costly, or that could lead to a component failure. So I can see over the next 24 hours, it's, the health is starting to de deteriorate. And then in 72 hours, it's coming into the red. It's now presenting me with the information around where that issue is lying and what the cause is. So again, any service technician visiting that reefer can focus their attention specifically on the area that they're being advised of, which will help them diagnose any problem as quickly as possible. We're getting some other information down here on the map as well. So we can see whether there was any alarms. Well, at the moment there isn't because of course it's in the green. So all of this information really helps everybody in the back office. But what we've been doing here is been looking at M&R. And as mentioned, the solution is much wider than that. So I want to be able to identify healthy reefers. The reason I want to be able to do that is that I have high value goods that need to go into reefers. I want to know that I'm selecting reliable reefers so that 
I know that there's a lower risk of failure. Now that helps me in the business because I've got less risk and I feel more comfortable about using those reefers. It also helps other parts of the business as well. It could help your claims department or if you present that information to your insurance company, they know that you're running your business as low risk as possible. It also gives confidence to your customers that you're doing everything possible to reduce spoilage. So how am I going to do that? So here we can see the live data and all of my healthy reefers. And then I can select that particular reef, those reefers. And I get presented with them down here. So I'm going to select the top reefer here just to identify to see how healthy that reefer has been over time. Because it's telling me the prediction here is that it's going to stay healthy over the next 72 hours. But I also want some historical context to see how reliable it's been over time. A lot of our customers, they, the way they do this now is they basically look at the age of the reefer and say the younger it is, the less likely it is to fail. But what happens is if you've got high value goods at a location where you don't have any reefers in that time frame, this is a great way to solve that problem. So I can then look back and I can select a date range and I want to look back as far as possible. So I'm just going to go back into August and look now and apply that. And once I can see in the future there that it's, it's healthy, I can also look back and say, this reefer has been very high at the top 0.8 to 9, which means it's very healthy consistently over time. That gives me the confidence that this reefer will continue to act in that way and that I know that if I put high value goods in there, it's going to be safe. So just in summary, as you can see, Lynx Fleet helps customers solve business problems. There's all sorts of feature functionalities, but that's only valid if it's solving the problems customers have, not just with M&R, but across operational problems, into claims, insurance, and other parts of the business as well. Thanks, Alan. Now, as we close this webinar, we are proud of the solutions that we provide today in addressing the cold chain. We provide over 1.2 million transport refrigeration units globally. That is protecting over 9 billion in goods cooled by carrier solutions across the globe. We have cargo monitoring solutions that are managing 16 million shipments a year. And lastly, we have solutions for our food retail and warehouse, where we provide equipment in over 50,000 stores globally. At Carrier, we remain focused around building a healthier, safer, more sustainable, and intelligent cold chain. We will accomplish this through product innovation, intelligently monitoring every shipment to ensure safety and efficacy, and building a more sustainable future for generations to come. Thank you for joining our webinar. It was a pleasure to be here today. Next in the program, we will hear from Sarah Cooper, General Manager of IoT Analytics and Applications at Amazon Web Services. I'll turn it over to you, Sarah. I'm Sarah Cooper. I'm the General Manager for AWS Industry Products and Outcome Driven Engineering. We're an organization within AWS that partners with very select strategic customers to really build the new technology areas that we think are, are big pivots in digital transformation across a number of different industries. And Carrier Links is one of the ones that we're really excited about in the supply chain area, where we believe that digitizing the cold chain can really drive not just business value for the participants within cold chain, but really fundamentally drive societal change. Um, and so we, we can talk a little bit more about that, but it's one of the easiest things to hire engineers to do is, is to improve um, efficiency across our food and, and, and medication supply chains. You know, this is a really tough problem. For those who haven't spent a lot of time thinking about cold chain, really you've got perishable goods. <laughs> That's usually why they're being shipped in temperature controlled environments. But you got perishable goods that have to be moved from all around the world um, in order to be able to make it to your table or your doctor's office or your pharmacy. And that that is a very complex handover of 
20, 30, 40 stops along the way. Um, when you think about how do you know that that product is being delivered and isn't spoiled um, and that it's really truly going to be active in the case of pharmaceuticals um, or where it's, where it's still in good condition um, so that it, it makes it to the table um, in, the, in the instance of food stuff, that's spoilage and wastage that can happen when that, when that temperature guarantee isn't kept from end to end is, is astronomical. The numbers at the scale that cold goods are moved uh, globally are, are just um, heartening when you think about the impact that, that the team and this project and Carrier Links can have. Uh, but but disheartening when you think about all of the years of, of waste that's happened within this um, and spoilage that's happened within this cold chain. So we are very excited to be part of the solution in making sure that we have a more efficient and effective cold chain, especially in today's supply chain shortages. You know, every banana needs to make it onto the grocery store so that my protein shakes in the morning um, are good and thick and tasty and full of uh full of potassium. Um, otherwise, you know, our, our food costs go up astronomically and, and continue to increase um, some of the challenges we've seen in, in modern um, social justice. So it really is about people at the end of the day. Now, the fact that we get to play with sensors and IoT communications and machine learning and anomaly detection and event identification and classification along the way is just the cherry on top. Carrier already has an incredible number of the raw ingredients for, for measuring end-to-end -end cold chain, um, whether that's the transit cold uh, con refrigerated containers or sense attack to be able to measure and monitor uh, individual shipments. Ultimately, pulling all of that data together and being able to infer the relationships across the many segments of the journey for an item that's moving through the cold chain while being able to drive not just core analytics and thresholds, um, which are important. That's the foundation of being able to identify spoilage or potential risk of spoilage, but really being able to build a robust machine learning environment to be able to do advanced analytics and prediction. Where's their risk of something, um, uh, particularly around a certain route, um, uh, losing its, its freshness along the way? Crab meat's a great example of a very highly expensive, one of my favorites, um, temperature controlled shipments that, you know, when a container of crab meat goes bad, that's hundreds of thousands of dollars. And being able to assign, you know, who owns that, was it put into the container, um, it, you know, when it had already started to spoil? Um, was it a handoff somewhere, you know, in a port between a refrigerated container, shipping container to a warehouse location? Um, who really is responsible for that? Being able to predict that path so that you can actually remediate before spoilage happens um, is a key piece of the, the technology landscape, which then allows a number of applications to be built on top of, on top of links and, and within the links broader platform that help address the, the myriad of opportunities to drive more business value out of the cold chain, whether that's for insurers or shippers or um, uh, producers and farmers or manufacturers. It's a very, very diverse value chain. Cold chain holistically, partially because of that fragmentation and the number of handoffs, but it's really a partnership game. It's about how do you pull more data from more variety of devices along the path so that you have a richer data set to begin with. And the richer your data set, the more types of solutions that you can develop. If you know that, um, that rough handling is something that's important to eggs and you're able to not only measure the temperature of those eggs in transit, but also um, the handling uh, of those eggs, you're gonna be better able to predict 
you know, exactly what the, the uh, survivability through shipping of those eggs is going to be. And maybe you choose to do washing of the egg at a different location, which then provides um, egg washing tends to be a pretty harsh process and actually removes part of the eggshell, which makes them very pretty when we get them here in North America. Um, other parts of the world handle this a little differently, um, but does mean that it's a thinner shell. And so you might choose to do that cleansing closer to the actual consumer um, if you see that that breakage is happening in certain areas within the cold chain. So fundamentally, that diversity of solutions and the diversity of applications is being driven by the diversity of data. And by increasing the number and variety of solutions, you're increasing the business value to to those partners across the cold chain, as well as to um, external parties. And so that the more value that gets driven by this flywheel we're talking about, the more reinvestment happens at the device level. So now maybe you wanna look at humidity within that things, because maybe humidity is a core piece of being able to ensure you know, the right ripening of a fruit or the, the survivability of, of medication. And so that, that fundamental flywheel of a rich data set, not just lots of data, but the right rich data, the variety and, and biodiversity of that data, as it were, um, helps drive the variety of solutions that you can develop, which increases the amount and the types of business value that you can deliver, which then again, increases the, the sensor variety, which then increases that data richness. So again, around and around it goes, but part of what we really identified with Carrier early on in this project was the need to have partners at each one of those steps, partners who are building on top of links, new applications and solutions, partners who are adding richness of third-party sensors that might be outside of the Carrier portfolio, but bring a different viewpoint into the movement of, of goods or devices, um, or potentially telematics on on trucks to help reduce fuel costs and increase the sustainability of the end-to-end -end cold chain. Cybersecurity and security holistically is job number one at Amazon. Um, it always is, it always has been. Um, but it, we see it as a, as a full sort of shared responsibility. And, and in this, it, with, with something like Carrier Links, that responsibility is shared between Carrier and AWS, where AWS is absolutely responsible for the security of the underlying services and the code and the development that we do with the Carrier team as part of the Links project. The carrier team is working with us very closely to make sure that we are maintaining the similar paradigms and a multi-layered security approach to across the application and the components that they are building. And then for solution providers, we talked about solution providers that might be third parties. We wanna be able to provide best practices. We wanna be able to ensure that they are leveraging the best practices and the capabilities that AWS has developed really across many, many years, we have an incredibly rich set of, of security capabilities and features, everything from identity to monitoring IoT devices and looking for behaviors across networks that might indicate that something is under, um, under suspicion or should be under suspicion. And so that, that really that end-to-end -end layering of of security, making sure that it is a single paradigm, regardless of the fact that there are at least two and maybe three partners who are helping to, to, to develop and, and build that end-to-end -end software capability um, is, is absolutely important. Um, and I would also say the variety of data that we have coming into this system, part of the way that it is that, that business value gets generated is by maintaining some of those core ownership over data. So the carrier's data is carrier's data, carrier's customer's data is, is you know, retains all of the rights that are part of that, that piece. AWS's job here is really to facilitate unlocking the value from that data uh, so that the value is accrued to the data owner. Um, we, we aren't in the business of, of um, consuming our customers' data.
one of my favorite sayings is with great power comes great responsibility. Um, Spider-Man oh. fan here. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but with great transparency, which is really, you know, end to end, that's what the, the data visibility exchange and analytics within the Carrier Links platform provides is, is transparency and the ability to make a data-driven a data -driven decision and then monitor and adjust in real time. Basically, what ends up happening when Carrier Links uh, is able to really drive that industry change that, that we've both invested so heavily in is that the customers have a much better visibility into real time and better ability to, to adjust and change and shift which means more change, right? I mean, how many of us are ready for the change to stop and just get a vacation from change? That's not gonna happen. Um, <laughs> sorry to disappoint, um, but but getting, I think uh, for, for a lot of cold chain customers, like other uh, customers in, in highly transformational areas, um, really it's getting comfortable with and figuring out how to organizationally take advantage of the pace of change. How do you build an organization, a product, a team, um, processes and mechanisms and methodologies that help make sure that your business grows as the rate of change increases, rather than that the business becomes stagnant in the face of, of constant change? So I'm a, I'm a materials physicist by training. I have a PhD working in nanomaterials from a long time ago. And um, I have consistently across my life made the choice to move away from kind of the academic, um, you know, operating in a lab at NASA, working on materials to developing devices that have impact in daily lives. And so this is one of those examples. It's part of the reason why I love my job, <laughs> my current job, but it's, it, you know, this project in particular and the Carrier Links platform has the opportunity of taking some of these new emerging technology areas like machine learning, like IoT, and driving that impact to something that touches each and every one of us. Um, we all eat. Some of us during the pandemic more than we'd like to admit, um, but you know we've seen just how brittle the supply chain can be and how it immediately, at, I mean next day, impacts the cost in the grocery store. Um, right when many folks have have you know a lower ability to actually afford fresh foods. Um, so I, I'm I'm very passionate about making sure that that um, we're able to have these great technology um, improvements actually touch down in, in people's day-to-day -day lives. We appreciate all of you joining us to learn more about how Carrier is delivering confidence and healthy, safe, sustainable, and intelligent cold chain solutions that will provide greater benefits for people and our planet.